Once you have a SiteGround account, you can log in by going to SiteGround.com and then click on Login. Or you can go straight to login.siteground.com. Your username is the email address that you used when you signed up. And this will be the same for the password. You would have entered this password during the sign up process. If you have forgotten what your password is, just click this recover password and then send a code. This will email you instructions on how to reset your password. Once you log in, you will see the dashboard here for your SiteGround account. This dashboard is mostly used for managing the services on your SiteGround account. To control our website, we will be using a different dashboard, which I'll show you in a moment. There are just a few things here I'd like to cover first. If you ever need to upgrade your hosting plan, you can do this by going to the Services tab and then click on Upgrade for the plan that you'd like to upgrade. And now you can see all the upgrade options. You can also choose to upgrade to Cloud Hosting. The Marketplace tab can be used to add additional services to your SiteGround account. If you wanted to host a second website on your current hosting plan, you could do that by adding a new domain here and linking it to your current hosting plan. You can also select the additional hosting services. The next thing I want to show you is under the Billing tab and then Renewals. Here, you can see your services that you currently have, but more importantly, you can see their expiry date. The next payment for this service is due by the expiry date, and you can see how much is due at the end here. To manage our website, we need to go to the Websites tab, and then for the domain name that we want to manage, select Site Tools. This will load the dashboard for our actual website hosting tools. There are a lot of tools here, and it may look confusing with some of the terminology used. Don't worry too much though, most of this stuff you will never even have to look at or use. I'll create a tutorial for all the commonly used features and then you can choose which tutorials you want to watch when you need to watch them. You don't need to learn how to use everything here. Thanks for watching. I hope this video was helpful. To keep me motivated to make more free tutorials, please subscribe, like this video, and leave a friendly comment. And if you didn't like this video, no problem, smash that dislike button twice even, and let me know how much I suck in the comments. For more tutorials with SiteGround, or website tutorials in general, check out thewebsiteteacher.com. I'll leave a link in the description below.